not one but two tools that can help you to find the perfect niche so that your business conversions increase. But you've got to stay tuned to the end of the video to find out about them. One I can all but guarantee you've never heard of before, but by the time you reach the end of this video, you'll sure be glad that you did and you'll know why. Look, if you're a frustrated coach because you want to grow your business and you know that you should use organic content marketing to help you out on this front and you've been consistently putting out content, say on YouTube, let alone other platforms like Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, and more, but you can't get any traction for your content and you're wondering what you're doing wrong. Well, this video is for you. Hey, what's up everybody? It's Stacey Storino. Welcome back to my channel. The number one place to learn about crafting content that converts content consumers into actual customers. I've got eight years of experience coaching thousands of students across the world under my belt. And a lot of what I've seen has led me to create this video titled, How a Coach Finds the Perfect Niche. But before we get started, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to get the help that entrepreneurs like you need to succeed with content marketing that drives traffic to your business so that you can do more business. I recently did a video entitled Grow Your Business as a Professional Coach, which is part of my Professional Coach Growth Series playlist on YouTube. And you'll want to make sure that you see that video and that playlist and all of the videos on that playlist. The previous video in the series reveals the real problem that you have when you're not getting traction and the solution that exists if you're really ready to move forward and step into success. While well, this video is tackling the specific issue of how a coach finds the perfect niche. Why? Because once you niche down, you can totally blow up. And even if you've heard this saying before, by the time you reach the end of this video, you'll have a tool or two to help you absolutely find the niches and the riches that can be found in the niches. Now, here's the deal. Exclusivity breeds visibility. Your problem when it comes to being a content creator, even if it's not as an influencer, but someone who wants to make money as an entrepreneur in connection with the content that you're putting out, kind of using content to lure your ideal customer to you and your business, well, your problem is that you're likely not visible to most people out there on a given platform, such as YouTube. We'll use YouTube as an example, but I'm telling you, the advice I give in this video will help you out on any platform where you're posting content to. Now, why aren't you visible to most people, especially your ideal customer, a member of your niche? Well, they don't know that you exist when they're searching for content to binge on. So if they're searching up content like videos to watch on YouTube in this example, they're not going to be searching up your name, your YouTube channel, the name of your course or boot camp or whatever. And if you don't tailor your content for a specific person like your ideal customer to find, you're never going to be found on any platform, including YouTube, because you'll be optimizing your content in terms of keywords and hashtags, in terms of general audiences, and or you're talking about more broad topics and the problem is so is nearly everyone else since lots of other coaches like you likely don't have a clue about how to optimize content properly with narrowed down specific use of keywords and where applicable hashtags. Let me put this another way. If you're a weight loss coach and you just use a general term like weight loss for women as your title for a video you publish on YouTube, well, that's what too many other people are doing too. And your videos will be buried in seconds on this in the search result pages with all of their videos. Nobody's titles, keywords, and all are narrowed down and specific enough to stand out in a case like that. So everyone's videos sink down to the bottom of the sea of sameness together. That means that you'll be basically digitally invisible. And your having created that video is pretty much a waste of your time. 
There's nothing exclusive about titling your video weight loss tips or my favorite weight loss tips for women. That's not likely going to help you get the traction you need for your content to be found in specific search results, which of course would lead people lead to people watching your content and therefore you as a content creator who happens to be a coach too you know, would be discovered by content consumers on the platform more often. That's not how a professional coach finds the perfect niche. So what can you do to use more exclusive content optimization of your videos on YouTube, let's say? Well, you'd want to optimize your content using keywords that have to do with the ideal customer you're trying to attract. The perfect niche or ideal customer type audience is likely populated by people who are just like you and you found a solution to a main pain point. Now you're a coach helping other people too, or you're not just like them, but you have a legitimate reason for wanting to focus your coaching business, let alone your content creation on people just like them. So that's one really good way to determine what the perfect niche is for you. Sure, people pick their niche based upon basic demographics like age, sex, or sexual identification, level of education, household income, that sort of thing. That's a great start. You have to start there. But if you stop there, it's like you just worked on the skeleton of your ideal customer without putting flesh on the bones to make them a real person that you're creating content for. Custom crafted specific content created for people specifically like them, suffering from the specific main pain point just like they do. So how do you put that proverbial flesh on the basic demographics type bones of your ideal customer avatar, if you will? Where there, there's psychographics, there's other things that get factored into who makes your ideal customer and why you want to serve them. So psychographics boil down to answering questions like these. What do these people like to do when they're at work versus at home? What kind of likes or dislikes do they have that would separate them out from the rest of humanity? What are their preferences when it comes to living their life currently, both personally and professionally? What do they want to do with the rest of their life? Who do they aspire to become? How does their main pain point that they're struggling with block them from living the life they truly deserve? Allow all of that to help you to determine who the perfect niche is for you. And all of these personality traits and specifics will help you to narrow down your niche. And of course, it will shape the type content that you create and the keywords you'll use in your titles and descriptions for each video you create on YouTube in this example and every post that you publish on other platforms outside of YouTube. Off of YouTube, both the demographics and the psychographics help you to determine the keywords and hashtags to use when creating and optimizing content captions and posts on platforms like TikTok, Instagram, and so forth. When you narrow down the focus of the content that you create so that it's made for a specific person, it won't just resonate more with that particular person or ideal customer. It will allow for you to use more exclusive, narrowed down keywords in your titles in your descriptions, in your captions, and so on. That will help you rise up out of the sea of sameness so that you can get traction in search on platforms such as YouTube, which is actually a search engine. The more narrow and exclusive your keywords are, the more narrow and exclusive of an audience you're trying to attract, the more likely you'll have less competition to compete with in search, and the more likely it is you'll be discovered and your content consumed. Of course, if you're picking keywords for a particular audience, it goes without saying that your actual content should be crafted specifically for that particular audience. Titles, descriptions, captions, keywords, all of that stuff should be accurate and never misleading. Let me give you two ways to narrow down to blow up. Way number one, narrowing down on YouTube. There's two tools that I feel entrepreneurs should be using in order to increase their visibility. One is made specifically for YouTube, which we'll cover here, and you may or may not have heard of this tool before. 
But the second tool, it's an official verified tool that is safe to use and yet it's a very well kept secret, but not anymore because I'm gonna share with you that secret towards the end of this video, okay? Stay tuned, I'm all but guaranteeing you've never heard about this tool before. And yet all of my six figure or close students use it religiously, no matter what niche they're pitching their offerings to, and it works like a charm for them. Definitely stay tuned. And that first tool that can help you on YouTube, you can use it for free. Not a free trial, but free if you continue to stay at the basic tier for as long as you like. As of the recording of this video, well, that tool is TubeBuddy. And yes, I'm an affiliate. And yes, if you click the link that you can find in the description down below to use it, if you ever upgrade to a paid plan, I will receive a small portion of the proceeds, but that will only help me to continue creating content on this channel. But look, by using TubeBuddy properly, I've managed to go from zero to a thousand subscribers in a matter of months on a platform that has billions of users and billions more in videos being uploaded on the regular. Using TubeBuddy can help you narrow down the amount of competition you're using. Let me show you how all of this works. One of TubeBuddy's most excellent features is the keyword explorer. So if you were to put the term weight loss in the search box, you'd pull up some pretty dismal results, like specifically TubeBuddy shows you that you have a poor chance of ever ranking or being seen on YouTube because while there's a high volume of search results, there's way too much competition, as there's already millions of videos on YouTube titled that way. This is the sea of sameness to the maximum capacity, really. But if you know the demographics and the psychographics that make up your ideal customer, then you could see if you've got a shot at titling and otherwise optimizing videos on YouTube to be found and searched by people who fit the description of your ideal customer and TubeBuddy can help. That's how any entrepreneur finds the perfect niche. They decide who they want to serve and then use professional tools that wise entrepreneurs use in order to optimize their content so that they can be found by just the right type of content consumer. Here's an example. If you were to put in the term weight loss for female athletes, you'd see a score of excellent. There's not a crazy amount of competition going on in terms of search for this type of content on the YouTube platform. And would you look at that? You have more of a chance of ranking on the platform and being seen by your perfect niche. Again, you've got to create content for that specific niche, of course, but otherwise you're niching down to blow up on YouTube. What about off of YouTube? I've got just a fix for that. So now we're on to way number two, narrowing down off of YouTube. Many social media platforms behave like social media search engines where people can search on keywords just like they would on YouTube and or they can search on hashtags, especially on platforms like Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. So let's use Instagram as an example. There's a tool called Flick that will give you the deepest dive you've ever seen as to what hashtags to use, what hashtags to avoid, what hashtags get great search, what hashtags tend to invite a lot of engagement on the posts that use them and more. You get, get a week's worth of Flick for free by clicking the link down below in the description box or show notes. And yes, that's a paid tool. And if you stay with it, yes, just like with TubeBuddy, I'll get a portion of the proceeds because I'm an affiliate, but yes, I use both TubeBuddy and Flick and I find that they've led to great results, not just for me, but for my students across the globe, which is why I still use them, still promote them and so on. <laughs> so let's say you like to create content that has to do with female athlete weight loss. Okay and you have posts that you wanna rank on Instagram with the right keywords and hashtags, Flick's got your back. You could enter a search like hashtag menopause weight loss for a hashtag 
and you can see that it's got a lot of competition, but nonetheless on Instagram, it has a very high potential for reach. The DAPC score has to do with the daily posts that are made using that hashtag, okay? So that's 125 a day. And then you see the average likes on such a post using such a hashtag is well over 360, so that's neat. And while the total posts on Instagram in this case are over 98,000, that, that are using this hashtag, what's neat is there's 32 comments that are made on average on posts using such a hashtag. So now, could you see that you would not want to use something more broad and pedestrian in terms of a hashtag like hashtag healthy mindset because according to Flick, your Instagram-based content would be in competition with like nearly a million other posts using hashtag healthy mindset. Now, if you were to go more narrow, like say hashtag accountability group, you can automatically see that you have less competition, which means more traction to be found in search and to rank. There are 35 posts a day that go up on Instagram using that hashtag. There are 206 average likes, over 89,000 posts total on Insta using that hashtag, and 22 comments are made on average with such posts. So still pretty nice engagement when you consider that there's much less competition. Have you ever approached your content optimization this way before? I highly doubt it. The good news is your visibility can increase when you niche down in terms of not just your concentration, not just your ideal customer, but your optimization too. Finding an ideal customer or niche to serve and you optimize your content to be successfully seen by them, well, to me, that's how a coach finds the perfect niche. That's a lot of information. So I wanna hear from you. How much effort have you put into optimizing your videos or even your non-video type content for search before? Comment below, I do read your comments. And if you want more help in terms of distinguishing yourself from the crowd and increasing your trustworthiness in the eyes of your niche, I actually have a freebie for you to pick up called 10 Reasons Why You're Viewed as a Fake Guru and How to Gain Credibility and Customers Instead. And you can pick it up at don'tbeafakeguru.com. The link for you to score that freebie guide is in the show notes or the description down below. Wait, see what I just did? I promoted my email list opt-in. <laughs> Doing this works. Trust me, you should do it too. So there you have it. You now have my answer when it comes to the subject of how a coach finds the perfect niche. Need more help? Be sure to check out these two awesome videos too because they'll teach you great content marketing strategies that can also help to blow up your business. Enjoy.